Hey, uh, in this example, we'll see the capabilities of uh, process builder uh, in a way that we can replace the triggers. All right, so uh, let me give you an example here. So in this example, I have uh, a primary contact uh, as a lookup field and the primary contact uh, email ID and phone number displayed onto account. When uh, I have uh, some contact center and account. So this the requirement is that you know when the contact is made a primary contact, I want uh, the recent contact to be available on the account. At the same time, where is the uh, other uh, primary contacts? Uh, I want them to be uh, not primary contacts anymore. So whoever gets the checkbox selected recently will be the primary contact so uh, you know in such cases we have triggers right we check for other contacts we update them and we update the account with uh, uh, the same trigger and we write the trigger on contact but not anymore uh, we can replace such uh, triggers with the process builder so for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the process builder okay and I'll create a process builder and uh, let me deactivate uh, the processes on account for the time being and let me create the new one on contact so primary contact okay and save so i'm going to write this on contact so i'll select the contact so whenever it gets created and edited i'll select the option and then i'll add the criteria this is very important because we don't want to run this every time we want this to be run only when it is true and when it is marked uh, and it is changed basically right so um, I'll select the field and contact this primary there's a checkbox on contact like this I created I showed you so the operator is when it is changed the boolean is true so that's when we get it when we change it at the same time the primary contact is equal to true so when it is marked true we will fire this process builder Yeah, whatever. So, and then the action. This is uh, the real stuff. So here we get to update. First of all, we need to update the account of it, right? Um, so give it a name, and then select the account. Okay. And you just need to select the account here. Yeah, that's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, account ID. So this would be uh, the account uh, that we are looking for, and then. Uh, And then we get to choose the fields that are available on the account. So I have uh, an account and it gave us some error. Let's see. Yeah, 
that is there then something let me cancel it and add it again so update records counts then select account id there you go so we get to select primary and that is id type but we are getting it uh, from the reference right and the reference would be um, the contact id so we are making this contact id to be the primary contact there and with this we are able to update uh, the primary id the primary contact on account but we want to do more right uh, we want to uh, uncheck the other contacts as well this is where we actually need the process builder functionality so here I'm going to choose update records again and I would say other contacts okay and here in the other contacts I will have to select uh, the parent account on the parent account I would select the contacts so this little option that we just selected like from the contact we are going up to account and we are coming back to contacts again so this would give us access to all the contacts here like four of them but we don't want to update all four of them do we we just want to update the others which are not the current context id so uh, for that i'm going to uh, select update the records that meet the conditions here the condition is that uh, the contact id is not equal to this contact id right so uh, the condition here uh, would exclude the context let's say if i'm selecting stella and um, because of this condition i would exclude stella and i'll be able to identify other contacts and now what i would do i would simply uncheck the primary contact that is there and the boolean and i'm passing values false that's it and um, let's test this this is activated and uh, other song i'm going to make this uh, guy as primary so my uh, expectation here is that Arthur has to come here and his email and phone number will come up there. At the same time, the other checkboxes will be nullified. Let's see. I'm making this primary and saving it. Yeah, the account part is good. Got Arthur's uh, name and phone number there. Yeah, and uh, the other primaries are also gone. Just a pointer here is that uh, we know that process builder is not bulkified uh, not so far till summer uh, 15 and um, they will make it uh, as what I heard by um, maybe next year we'll see so uh, please keep this in mind it's not bulkified for all the DMLs we are at risk so make your conditions very clear that uh, it won't fire for other bulk operations that are made using your triggers or so so your condition has to be very strict when you are performing any dml all right um, thanks for watching bye bye